I have to find you. This is not your domain. You have breached the darkness. You killed a Reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. <coughs> Yen. <coughs> What's happening? Galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. Before the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were. Therefore, that we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle and for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. 
Each harvest ends with the birth of a reaper, perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image, our image. Each reaper has the power to influence organics, overcome the cycles this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for. The harvest will continue. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. You will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. Harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. No victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood.
Shepard, wake up. He's freezing. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out.